Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is the Monday, start of a brand new week, and of course, upgrade pack day. Today is the day where we're all going to be trying to pack some of these League One TOTS cards from the upgrade SBCs that we look forward to just about every week. Now, of course, we know how it's probably going to go down today, but I want to take a look at some of the aspects that are unknown about what specific upgrade packs we could maybe get today, how the crafting process might work, and how that could impact the market alongside of what other Monday content we could see today on this game. I also want to take a look back to yesterday as we had some very nice showdown cards with Emerson and Christian Romero dropped for their Wednesday game between Italy and Argentina. The Copa America winner versus the Euros winner from last year. And also take a look at how the market reacted to the 93 plus moments SBC as SBC fodder that we talked about investing in yesterday is on the rise because of this SBC being cheaper than what it was released at before. So we're going to talk about all of that and the insane um, Belgian Pro League Tots, which dropped some really nice cards that are really affordable and fun to trade with. So we're going to talk about all of that today and more. But if you're excited to try to pack some League One today, hit the like on the video and of course subscribe if you're new. Now let's just talk about these upgrade packs, right? It's Monday. We know, we expect upgrade packs today. We know one of them we're 100% getting for sure. That's going to be the premium League One upgrade pack. That is going to be a pack that will give you 12 golds, three rare, right? It's the same premium pack that we've had all the last couple of weeks. Now, what's that going to do, right? How can you invest for this? Gold rares are still like 650 to 700 coins. They're, they're cheap. You can get them on bid. They're probably going to start to rise up today. Whether you want to buy them as an investment or buy them and go, you know, put them in your club or go unassigned to get upgrade packs done right away today, that's up to you. I think 650 for gold rares is a dub. Um, as right now, even some of them are expiring, which is kind of crazy. I'm going to start stocking my club and putting a lot of buying a lot of these cards to do upgrade packs today um because that premium pack is what we know is going to drop every single week of team of the season for the main league so will it require league one specific rares i think there's like literally no chance because they haven't required them before and if ea did that there would be a lot of very mad people on the game today um you know i i really doubt it's going to happen so i think you're safe to go and buy any specific league of rares it doesn't have to be league one now again we know we're going to get that pack the premium league one upgrade but what are we going to get for the secondary packs right there was one um pack that was added to the code earlier this last week but i don't know if that's going to be our upgrade pack today because that pack is actually inside of the first gold cup the 75 plus league one pack times two so it's two players 75 rated that could be one of our packs today uh, that would be a league specific pack and that's often what ea has done in the past couple of weeks they drop the premium upgrade they drop a league specific either pack or player pick so like last week we had the 80 plus double upgrade la liga pack and then we also had the 80 plus player pick non-league specific with it so what I really hope they release today, though, is the League One Premium and then a 75 plus or an 80 plus or anywhere in between there, League One specific player pick, because that is going to be the SBC that would be huge for packing blues from League One Tots. Because as we've mentioned many times, there are so few rares that are in the League One. Since there's so few rares, the chances of you packing a team of the season card are greatly greatly increased when that player pool is kind of like slimmed down when it's 75 plus gold rare there's only like 54 75 plus gold rares uh in the league one whereas for Premier League, there's like over 100 so that's why i think and you've seen it already there's a 75 plus times 10 pack that's in the first gold cup as well as a reward i think why you're seeing the lower ratings is because there's less players we saw it for bundesliga as well um and I think that's going to be seen today in the upgrade packs that are released. But I really hope we get a League One specific player pick. And then also I hope we get some sort of either 81 plus double upgrade or an 80 plus player pick like last week. Since there are so few rares in the League One, think about think about the fodder cards that you have an opportunity to pack from doing League One specific upgrades. You've got Verratti, you've got Ramos, you've got a cheeky Kaylor Navas. But other than that, there's not a lot of fodder cards that are like 83 to 90 rated that you're going to be able to pack. Unlike last week where you had like Busquets and you had 
Parejo and you had all the 85s and then you had some of the higher tier guys like Suarez and Cruz that were packable from La Liga, it's going to be harder to pack fodder this week. So I really hope that they do release. If they were to just release like an 80 plus player pick like last week, non-league specific, and then a 75 plus player pick for League One and the League One premium, that would be a perfect combination because you have an opportunity to get fodder from all leagues and then you could focus on the other two League One specific SBCs for a high chance at packing blues. So again, like I said, the really the best way that you can prepare is stock your club with commons and gold rares, but probably gold rares being the one you want to stock the most. Those are going to be the ones that will go up in value. And just thinking about how these cards went up, all gold rares during Premier League uh, were over like 1.2 to 1.3k. I could see that happening very easily again this week because it's League One and this team is so cracked. There's so many great cards that are in it. I could see these cards going up. So whether you want to invest in these or just buy them ahead of time to do upgrade packs for cheaper, both are a great option. And I think both uh, would be, it's, it's a good time to buy these basically at discard. Anything under like 800 coins, honestly, you're going to save yourself some money later on down the week if you just go and buy a bunch of gold rares like I know a lot of you guys have. So that's what I would really watch out for today with the gold upgrade packs. And again, what it really comes down to today is the pack weight. Last week for La Liga, the pack weight from upgrade packs was terrible. It was not good. We really, really hope that this week it's better, more consistent, even if we're not packing like big name players all the time. Like if we're getting a blue every 10 premiums, that's fine, right? Give me some cloths. Give me some duplicates. Uh, you know, like when I was opening packs for Bundesliga, I packed like six Neuers, but it was great because every single time I was getting a 95 rated Tots card that I could rinse into an SBC, right? That's what we want to see. Consistent blues even if it's a lot of Lafont, Saliba, Payet, we'll feel like we're packing a lot of blues. Get some good fodder, which is worth it for the coin investment to buy rares, to do the upgrade packs. And then hopefully we can pack a big boy, you know, like a, like a Neymar or a Paqueta or a Chalmany Marquinhos, like one of those types of cards after doing enough upgrade packs. So that's what we hope for today is some really, really good pack weight with these being released. Now, also what I want to talk about is other content today on Monday. What else can we expect today? Well, um, we do have another player SBC that is leaked, but before we get to that, the SBC that I mentioned earlier, the 75 plus times 10, I think that would be an SBC just like we saw during Bundesliga team of the season. They went with the lower rated and more players in it. Uh, well, the best way to say this is last week on Monday, we had the 81 plus times seven. I believe it was either Monday or Tuesday. And I think that this week's version of the 81 times seven for League One would be this same pack right here, the 1075 plus League One rare players pack. Now that could be wrong and they could add another SBC to the code. As of right now, the 10 uh, 75 plus League One pack and the 75 plus times two League One pack are the only packs that we have in the code. Now also remember player picks do not have to be added to the code. So there could be a change in that or two before content today and we could have some different upgrade SBCs, but I would expect one of those gamble type packs to be released today on Monday as a part of content as well. Uh, and then I mentioned the leak. This is the leaked card that we have at the moment that was dropped yesterday for an SBC to come during League One Tots. I think this might be tomorrow on Tuesday, but uh, this could be a fun card. A lot of people used Headliner Savonier earlier on in this game. Really good, really cheap card, to be completely honest. And I think that this card right here would be really cheap as well when he's he is released. Probably would end up dropping the price a little bit of a Ganduzi, maybe a Fofana type card, depending on how good the stats look, because this is a predicted stat post right here. These are not expected or confirmed stats for this Savonier card. So depending on how much juice EA were to give this card, I think it would be cheap regardless, but that's our next SBC. I think it's going to be tomorrow. And then the last thing I'll say is we're in kind of a weird schedule with the secondary league tots. Uh, I would say there's a, there's a maybe small chance today that we could see a guaranteed tots SBC today on Monday if they want to spread them out because we had the super league released on Saturday and then the Belgium pro league released yesterday. I wouldn't be surprised if they wanted to spread out the guaranteed TOTS SBCs and say, hey, instead of just dropping Super League and the Belgium Pro League on Tuesday, maybe they'll spread them out and say, okay, we'll do Super League Monday, Belgium Pro League Tuesday, and then League One on Wednesday. I don't know. That's just me kind of thinking a little bit, but we might see that today. That might not be till tomorrow. They might just drop two in the same day, but I think the real big part of content today is the upgrade packs, and we all know that, right? So a 75 plus times 10 seems likely. And then all the League One upgrade packs is going to be the main 
part of content today for sure. Anything other than that, and I, I'm not expecting too much else other than that right now. So what I want to talk about next though is actually go back in time to yesterday and talk about what's moving on the market right now and talk about what's going on with this game. I do think upgrade packs will move some of these League One Tots cards today on the market. Uh, but I want to go back to yesterday first before we talk about this because this kind of rolls into how I think the market might move today on Monday. But let's talk about fodder because we talked a lot about SBC fodder in yesterday's video saying that it was a really, really good buy. And if you got in, GG's because especially on the upper tier, the higher echelon of fodder, your 87s, I was buying last night at 10, 11,000 coins. They're up 2K a card. 88s or 16K, that's up 2K a card. You know, 89s are up a couple thousand coins a card. But the stuff that went up the most, and this stuff spiked um, a couple hours ago, was your higher tier because EA re released the 93 plus moments upgrade, but they made it cheaper. And this price has gone up because right away when fodder was really low, this SBC was actually like 490K when it first came out. It was like 500K flat to do. Now you can see the price has gone up a little bit as, as fodder um, has kind of risen with the hype of this SBC since they reduced it, it's, it. It was like down, I think it was 650K or 660 last time it was out. So it's a lot cheaper now, a lot easier for people to do. It's like 100, 150K less. And that means that the fodder has gone up with this. And I think that fodder was impacted a little bit by some of the Romero and the uh, Emerson SBCs. But since the higher tier on fodder went up the most, uh, I think it was really just people were going out and doing this SBC yesterday. So if you sold any of your fodder GGs, some of it's come down just a little bit. Like if we take a look at Conte, he's on footbin at 28,000 coins. Yesterday, he went from, you know, 26K, 25K. When I bought him last night, he spiked at 32. Now he's kind of back down. You know, if you sold in the spike, that's fine. 100%, no worries. I actually held on to a lot of my stuff though. Like Lewandowski, I bought a few of him. I did a club stock, like I was mentioning to you guys last night. That's kind of what I did. Lewandowski went from 33K all the way to 43. He went up 10,000 coins a card. Now he's back down to 41. But again, like I mentioned, we are still going to have a League One Tots guaranteed SBC coming later on this week. And again, with the upgrade packs coming out today, that gets everybody in the crafting mode, right? People are going to have duplicate Tots cards. They're packing like, what SBC do I go and do? Okay, maybe they go and do a Varadi, or maybe they go do a Lamar, or maybe they go do any of these other SBCs that are out right now that they might be working on, uh, which it would include uh, a 93 plus moments upgrade, which is repeatable twice, by the way, that helps. Um, you know, that could raise some of this fodder later on throughout the week, along with the League One guaranteed on Wednesday. So I think that fodder for me was still a hold, especially if you bought on the lower tier, like the 86s. 85s to 87s. I would hold that stuff right now. I think it's going to go up later on in this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, as we get more content and stuff like that. But if you did sell, then GG's because you definitely did make a decent amount of coins. As you can see on my transfer list behind some of the Tots cards that I'm flipping, I've got a bunch of this fodder still that I that I've kind of um, club stocked and put extras on my transfer list. So I'm holding a lot of this stuff that I got in the low 30s, like for a Lewa, you know, uh, there's another Lewa. Conte's at 24K. He's, you know, now up at, he was 32. So that just stuff, I'm going to hold it a little bit later on. You can always list for lazies, list five to 10K over the cheapest buy now price on the market, and you'll get a couple sales every day. And it'll help you maximize your profit on that SBC fodder as well. But I'm still holding, especially on the lower tier stuff now let's talk market in general because again like i mentioned with upgrade packs coming out today moving on from the sbc fodder part of the market how is it going to impact the league one tots players because during premier league tots if you guys remember the pack weight was pretty good and, and people started opening upgrade packs and guys like jutta trent alexander arnold those tots cards actually dropped uh and a lot of the prem tots cards actually fell in price on Monday when the upgrade packs were released. Now, is that going to happen today with League One Tots cards? You know, for the upper tier, these higher echelon cards like the Neymar, the Chalmany, the Mbappe, the Messi, those types of cards, I really doubt it. I don't think that these cards are going to be affected too much because if you think about it, why would a card drop today that is in packs for League One Tots? Well, if it's a guy like Payet, who is probably going to get packed a decent amount, from upgrade packs. You know, some people might be packing them today and saying, oh my goodness, now I can sell the tradable Payat that's in my team and sell this version and use my untradable one that I just packed from an upgrade pack, right? If the pack weight's good, right? It all depends on if the pack weight's good. But 
People also might sell a Payette card and say, okay, 85,000 coins, I'm gonna sell him, get some coins, go buy some golds and do upgrade packs. That 100% happens today. So the cards that are gonna get packed the most from this team, it's it's you know it's no secret, right? Payette, Saliba, Lafont, um, Terrier, Ganduzi, and Klaus. I think those guys, especially if the pack weight is good, they're gonna get packed a decent amount. I think that's gonna make their prices drop off just a little bit um, after the content drop today. But then for the higher tier cards of like Paqueta, Chameni, Nunmenj, well, Nunmenj is kind of cheap too. He might actually drop off a little bit because he'll get packed a semi-decent amount. But Marquinhos, those types of cards, I don't think they'll move that much. Now, could they rise up a little bit this morning? They could, right? Marquinhos is 723,000 coins. And on Saturday, I flipped him on a huge flip right here. He went from like 700K up to 800 back down. Um, yesterday on Sunday, he was 730, kind of peaked at 760, went down to 713 and just has been chilling between like 715 to like 740. You know, you might see a few rises on these cards. Monday mornings, we usually see the market rise a little bit, even though weekly rewards aren't given out on Monday mornings anymore. It seems like people are just used to that scenario. So that we've seen that happen the past couple of uh, of weeks, but I, you know, I don't see any prices right now on any of these cards that make me want to go out and buy them. Uh, you know, you might have a guy like Fofana go up a little bit, but most, you know, most of these cards aren't even down. Like Paqueta, one point three two, like he, he is up, and these cards are pretty rare. So, you know, a couple rises today might happen on a few of these cards before the content drop, um, and maybe some small drops in price after the content drop but i wouldn't expect anything crazy today with these unless ea do something crazy of course but that's kind of my feeling on these now where there's a lot more fluctuation are on these rare new tots cards from saturday and sunday i've been trading these pro league tots cards like no way undav is 500k again no shot i literally just bought undav i kid you not i literally just bought undav like two and a half hours ago at uh, 399,000 coins. And is this guy actually 500K again? It's crazy. Like you can even see on my transfer list, I have the Ketelera's. I was buying the Ketelera at 150, sold him at 230. He was back down to 100K. So I bought like 10 of them at 100K. And I believe now the Ketelera is even back up to like 150, right? Is that true? 166. Yeah, he's like 150,000 coins. But this Undav card, who was cracked is really, really rare. So these cards are fantastic to trade with because they are so rare. 510, 518, no way, man, that's crazy. I think that I might take the cash since he's up 100,000 coins. One thing I've learned recently is that you take the dough when you have a quick flip like this. Is this card gonna be worth 500K for forever? Probably not, but uh, you know what? That sort of fluctuation in two hours time up over 100,000 coins. I'm going to take that cash, especially on a 500k card where there's not that much tax. So I'm going to list 510. Mine is not fresh. If that sells, I'll be a happy man. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now with a lot of these tots is just doing some quick flips with them. I bought a Van Vanakin at 122. Um, you know, that sort of stuff right now seems to be paying some pretty good dividends uh, just with the quick flips. Now with the rest of the market, I know some of you guys still have some League One specials. That situation, like we talked about in last night's video, it's just a mess, honestly. Like, Jelson Martins maybe continues to rise slowly throughout the week this week. He's like 450 to 460. You just have so many people that have invested in a card like this. As you see me checking to see if there's any investors in here. Like, look at all these, bro. Like, like half of these are investors with the zero games played. So... I just think there was a lot of investing, but you've seen some other cards uh, that were really low, like bounce back and have moments of rarity. This uh, Awar card, he's, okay, he's low again. So Awar went from like 500 all the way up to 600, and now he's back down. But he's really rare. So, you know, maybe on some of these cards, like, man, 517 for Awar, that's pretty cheap after, you know, only seeing a few cards here to 560. So, just be continuing to look into these cards if you want to trade with them. As a lot of people, I haven't checked a Betty Pele in a hot minute, actually. I want to look at him. Um, as a lot of people are still building teams together in 900K, so he's up. But, you know, Renato Sanchez, Kimpembe, all of your League One specials, they will be a really good place to trade this week because their prices will be fluctuating a decent amount on the market just because people are going to be building, buying and selling and building League One teams because that's where the hype is right now in this game. So definitely take a look and watch those cards for some trading opportunities. Uh, in my opinion, that'd be a really good place to look on the market. And then also look for panic selling on other out of packs TOTS cards as we see the hype transition into League One. And, and even right now, as it's a Sunday night, let me scroll through a few of these TOTS uh, squads really fast. 
looking at some prices. Vinny is up big. You know, Pedri is kind of down 139. He was lower. Kunde is up. Militao is up. Felix is down. Modric is down a little bit. Acuna is down. Let's go Bundesliga. I know some of these guys were down bad. Le was 430 and Kuku 127. Jude Bellingham's under 2 mil. You know, these cards have moments of panic selling where people are like just trying to get out after a weekend. Um, and they have opportunities to be traded with and to be flipped. So Cancelo is 810. Wow, he's down a lot. That's crazy. De Bruyne is down some. Uh, did Suarez finally drop? 1.25. He's so incredibly overpriced. How much is Fred? 328. Yeah, he's not really down. He's been dropping since he went out of packs. But again, that's just how it works with these TOTS cards, right? You know, the new league comes out, the hype cards come out, especially with a ton of midfielders. That's why like guys like Pedri and Modric are down because there's so many insane midfielders in this team that people want to change their teams around and, and buy and use players that link up with these brand new team of the season cards. So, you know, there's still going to be places to trade on the market if you're if you're trying to do that sort of thing. And then, you know, as I've mentioned before, some of your uh, Serie A special cards you could continue to watch these, right? I know there's not as many of them out there, but like a Dybala uh, or a there's a lot of time we've looked at a few times. I think, you know, this card is still pretty low. He's 480, 485. That's kind of as low as Dybala has been from what I've seen. You know, just continue to keep an eye on these cards because we have had our first Serie A team of the season leaked player. And I actually want to show you guys this player because this guy's stats look really, really crazy. I don't know if you saw it yesterday. He's the first Serie A toss to be leaked. It is Rafael Leao. Stats expected. This means his card stats will probably be this. A huge plus eight overall over his headliners card. 99 pace, 98 dribble, 95 shooting, 90 passing, and 90 physical. Like, wow, man. Like, that's crazy. What an insane boost on that card. And if that's going to set the tone for a Serie A team of the season, then we might have some really cracked out cards coming in the next week or two. So that's just kind of something... To be watching out for it's an early leak that's the only one that we have so far but we'll see more of them later as we head throughout the week this week i know people are hyped for league one and stuff but uh we are definitely going to keep an eye on those um as we head throughout the week this week but again the hype for today is with the upgrade pack so good luck if you're opening and let me know of course as it always goes make sure you check the links down below in the description if you're opening these packs tweet me your sick pack pulls if you pack letter like i did and get insanely lucky still don't know how the in the world i did this uh but if you pack something insane tweet it to me uh i want to see a picture of that right i want to see the, uh, the team that he fits in as well i love seeing that kind of stuff um and you guys succeeding or if you have like a bunch of rares, like Nate, look, I have 5,000 rares in my unassigned because I'm ready to do League One upgrades. Tweet that to me as well, right? I absolutely love it. Anyways, I hope you all pack blues today. We're going to try to get this Tots counter from 70 up to 100 in the next two weeks, or maybe three weeks with Ultimate Tots. Our goal is to get to 100, but La Liga really slowed us down because the pack weight was awful. So hopefully that is not the case this week week so again if you did enjoy the video today and it helped you out at all hit the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new it has been nate the foot account and have a happy monday and i'll catch you guys later peace